What's up guys, Errors Again here and welcome back to another Fortnite Creative tutorial. So in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make Hardpoint in Fortnite Creative. I have not seen any other tutorials on this yet, so I thought I'd create my own. You've seen me post this a few weeks ago and I've been asked quite a lot on how to make it. I'm also doing other tutorials on other game modes, so if you guys want to know those, make sure to subscribe with the notifications on so you get notified when I upload them. So anyway, as you can see, I have hard point here. I'll have the code for this map down in the comments section so you can actually play it. But how to make this, basically, these are the mechanics. These are all the other hard points that are going to be turning on throughout the map. And then these are the order that you would do it in. So, what's basically happening here is you're using these devices, the timer devices, which are uh, somewhere on this list. Um, uh, there you go, the timer device, so you want you want those, and then you also want, obviously, the um, capture areas as well. So, basically what happens here is the game starts, and then from the get game starting, this counts down from 10 seconds. It's giving people 10 seconds to get out in the open and see where the objective device is going to spawn. So what's going to happen is this is going to count down from 10 from the game starting, and it's going to turn on channel 3 and then what's going to happen there is it's going to turn on one of the capture devices and then this next one the capture device is going to stay on for 30 seconds and then this one is going to count down from 30 seconds because it's going to that one it will activate this as you can see here let me go down to the settings so that when it counts down from 10 it'll activate this one and then once this one's counting down from 30 it will activate channel 1 channel 1 is this so that will activate uh, for another 30 seconds while this one is counting down. This one's channel 2. So what will happen when this is counted down, this one will turn off this. So channel 2, if I scroll back down to the list, uh, this will deactivate, as you can see there, on channel 2. So channel 1 will activate this. Channel 2 will deactivate this and activate this one. So basically, you want to rinse and repeat that one. Uh, the exact mechanic all the way across into all different um, capture areas so uh, channel 1 will activate it channel 2 will deactivate that one and activate that one channel 3 will activate this one and deactivate that one channel 4 activate that one deactivate that one so that is exactly how you do it you keep doing that all the way up all the way up you can change these timers to a minute, a minute and a half, depending on how long you want these capture areas to be active for. And then you want to continue that up until you have, I believe I have 3, 6, 9, 12 uh, capture areas. And then what you want to do is you want to create, just like I have, you have your three main areas. So I've got one in the hotel, one in the middle, one in the bank. And then they, what I've done here is stacked a bunch of them uh, on top of each other, as you can see there. Uh, in the certain area but the best way to do this to make it as random as possible so that there's not um, like a pattern is stack ones that are connected to different ones on on top of each other so pick that one there you pick that one then you pick one from over here and one from over there so that they're all at different times so that in between they're moving to different locations that's pretty much how this works and that's pretty much all the mechanics for this game mode I also have a random gun set on this as well. Uh, well, I've actually got classes for each class, which is pretty simple to do. All you do is drop the guns in, set them to which team you want, and then they'll spawn with those guns. And then I also have the spawns. So that is pretty much the mechanics for this game mode. What I'm going to do is go through my island settings so you can see what I have on here so you can copy it. What you can do is you can just pause the video and you can see exactly what settings I have. I have the score. Uh, more rounds, score to end 100, so the people have got to hold the objectives for 100 seconds pretty much to earn points. Uh, actually, I do need to go through um, the capture areas for you just so you can see those settings actually, so let's just do that. So all, this, all the capture areas are the exact same, but they get activated at different times. So what you want to do here is you want to go to team color, uh, capture area, you can have that as big as possible. And then you want to scroll down to item filter. You want that on periodic scoring. This is a problem I was having for quite a while. Uh, I didn't know that you had to have that setting on. Um, all that 
Now just scroll down so you can pretty much copy it. You want it on every second, so you're gonna get one score every second. That's pretty much how it works. Uh, so I have my areas up for 30 seconds, which means they can get 30 score if they hold it the entire time. But because of the fighting, obviously it's gonna get taken off and on and off. Like you're probably gonna earn maybe like 15 score from each uh, capture area. So it's gonna be quite a long game. I've got it on 10 minutes, which is quite nice. Uh, minus 16 players as well. So that is every single setting for every single capture area. Uh, all you want to do is change when they get activated by which uh, timer. So there is other ways of doing this, probably easier ways, but this is a mechanic I created and it works perfectly every single time. I will start the game uh, so that you can see when they get activated and how random it is. But I do hope this video helped you. If it did, make sure to leave a like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Click that bell so you get notified when I upload and I will speed up this last section so you can see uh, it moving around the room. You can also play it down in the comments section. Anyway guys, I'll see you all in the next one.